Spin our 18 closely watching Hurricane Lee in the Atlantic this morning. The storm is now a Category 5 storm. Lee right now packing wind speeds of 165 miles per hour. Now the forecast track shows it likely to pass north of the Eastern Caribbean. If the track after that unclear, it's expected to turn north though at some point. Certainly seems though, Lee, as though the turning point of the storm is going to be very critical here when that happens. Yes, and that's not really going to happen until the middle of next week. So you're going to hear about Hurricane Lee all through the weekend and with good reason. It strengthened from a Category 1 to a Category 5 in 24 hours. Now it's moving west-northwest at 14 and could reach about 180 mile per hour winds before it slowly starts to I mean, nudge down. It's a category four Wednesday of next week. You can see still well east of the Bahamas and we have to wonder about when it's going to make that turn to the north because Florida looks really out of play at this point, but a, a jet stream could come down and it depends on how strong that jet stream is when it's going to pick this up to see if anyone along the U.S. coast would be impacted. Of course, it's not actually not the only system out there. We have Hurricane Lee, but we also have Tropical Storm Margo. The good news is Margo stays out to sea. So with 165 mile per hour winds going up to 180, I wanted to check in to see how this Hurricane Lee compares with some of the strongest hurricane winds ever recorded in the Atlantic Basin. The strongest was 190. That was back in 1980 with Hurricane Allen, but 185 Labor Day Hurricane Gilbert, Wilma, Dorian. So this is very close to one of the strongest hurricanes out in the Atlantic. So I wanted to show you a live picture right now along Bay Shore, the Winters in Yonker camera. It's 80. We do have a couple of showers with that extra.